Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we are here to do our August beauty favorites. I have a lot of good stuff to share with you guys today. A lot of it I am wearing on my face today. So if you like this makeup look, you will see a lot of what I have on today. So hope you guys all have a great August. I can't believe it's the end of August already. Our kids, or my kids at least, are back in school already. They have been for a couple weeks. So it's kind of crazy getting like readjusted to the whole like daily schedule thing again. Their soccer practices just start, so we're like back into the grind again. So I'm not gonna ramble on too long here. I am just gonna jump into it because I have a lot of good stuff to share with you guys. So let's get moving. All right, let's start with what's on my eyes right now. And I've talked about this previously on my channel before, but I haven't mentioned it in a while. It's the Charlotte Tilbury, the Eyes to Mesmerize, the Marie Antoinette Cream Eyeshadow. You can see like what a huge dent I put in this. I love it. I use it so much on a daily basis. Mostly that is all I have on my eyes right now. I did the cream shadow all over and then just a tiny little crease shade with the Viseart Matte Palette. That's all I did. And that is honestly what I do on so many days because it's so fast and so easy, yet it still looks really like nice and put together. And this shadow is just one of my all time favorites. Like when this runs out, I will run and repurchase like for sure. But that's the color of it right there. And look at how smooth that is. And that shade is just so pretty on the eyes and it just doesn't crease or budge all day. So this Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow has been a favorite of mine for a long time now, but for this month in particular, I've been pulling it out a ton and just slapping it on my eyes on days that I wanna like hurry up and do my makeup. And like I said, even today, like you can just see it just creates such a pretty eye look. So Marie Antoinette, definitely you guys have to check out. And then you guys will notice in a bunch of my past videos, I have been using a lot of the Anastasia single eyeshadows again. This month I use them a lot. Her eyeshadows are just so easy to work with, so easy to blend. They always create really pretty eye looks with not a lot of like blending effort. And these eyeshadows really, really work well to like just get a really fast, easy, blendable eye look. And the colors are just beautiful. Now this is obviously not all of her colors. She has a ton of different colors, but I put together a little like Z palette full of her colors that I have. And I've just been pulling them out a ton this month. They're just great quality eyeshadows and they're not super expensive. I think they're maybe like $12 for one single eyeshadow, which is not bad. So I think that's around, isn't that around like MAC shadows too? But I don't know, anyway, but they're really, really great quality and not like super expensive either. Okay, let's talk about this right here because I have completely remembered why I love this in the past. And I actually just mentioned this in my ride or die tag too. It's the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. I remember now why when I bought this and like I used it for a while, I remember now why I loved it so much. This is what I've been using to set my under eyes and set down my T-zone. I've been doing that a lot lately and it just looks so good. You can see it like brightens up your under eye so much, more than the La Mer powder. The La Mer like doesn't brighten as well as the By Terry and I totally forgot about that until I started using this powder again to like set everything. I was like, holy crap, like my under eyes look so bright and so good. It does increase, it keeps your makeup looking absolutely flawless all day. And the thing that's different about this versus like the La Mer, the La Mer leaves kind of like a like a beige cast when you put it on your skin. Like it's not completely translucent and it has like a bit of luminosity to it. Whereas this one doesn't leave any type of like colored cast powder to your skin at all. And it, my hair is like sticking to my armpit. <laughs> and it doesn't have that like luminosity to it. It's more, not matte, but more just like, it sets your makeup more like natural, I wanna say. It's very hard to explain, but you guys can see my makeup right now, how it just is like brightened under the eye. I took it down my T-zone, and everything just looks so flawless, like flawless. It's unbelievable. So completely re in love with this. Like I said, in my ride or die tag, it is such a must. If you like the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, it's very similar to that, but it's way better because it's softer, it's more finely milled, and it's just like completely like undetectable on your skin, yet it somehow makes your skin look amazing and flawless. So I just rambled on about this forever, but I just love it. Okay, two bronzers I've been using a lot lately this month, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. This is the foundation, and I showed you guys this in my dupe video. I love this for a bronzer, and all I did was take it up like a notch or two of color levels, you know, just go up a little bit in your color. It's the perfect liquid bronzer. You don't have to spend like a fortune on a liquid bronzer, like the Hoola bronzer and 
all the millions of liquid bronzers that are out right now like honestly this works just as good and it will work for all different skin types and it just like melts into your skin so all you have to do is go buy a darker like cushion type foundation and it just works beautifully as a bronzer so I've been using this a ton and then also the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel I've had this sucker forever it's what I have on as my bronzer today and I have been pulling this out so much again and I'm so happy because I like always forget about this and it's just a beautiful bronzer and the best way that I've now been applying it because I'm more used to like cream bronzers and stuff when I first got this it was like my first cream bronzer ever and I was like okay what's the best way to use this what's the best brush no, you don't want to use a brush with this. The best way is a beauty blender. And that's what I've been doing like this entire month. I just dampen my beauty blender, just dip it on in there and then apply it to my skin and it blends in seamlessly. It's very smooth, it's very creamy, but it lasts on your skin all day and it literally just blends in and, and soaks into your skin. And then that's the swatch of it right here. You can see it's a very pretty, like more golden undertone bronzer. It's not a cool undertone. It's good for bronzing. It's not like good for like contouring or anything like that because it's more golden, but it really gives you that sun-kissed golden like look to your skin but it's a super good bronzer and I've been so happy I've been loving it lately and just giving it some love again because I always forget about this one okay so here's a little blush that I've been loving so much it's what I have on my cheeks today it's beautiful it's those little Mac casual color for your lip and cheeks these are so pretty I have a couple different ones of these and I just love them they just blend into your cheeks so well on your lips, I've used a couple of them on my lips and they make really pretty lip colors too. Some people say they're a little bit drying, but if you add like a touch of a little gloss into the middle of your lips, they look perfect. And for me, they're not super drying, but I really like it. This is the one I have on today. and It is in For Your Amusement. And if you guys can see it, it's so pretty. It's like a really pretty pink on your cheeks and it just seriously makes you look like 10 years younger. It's like that color that livens up your face and like really makes you like youthful looking you know what i mean how certain blushes just do that totally this one all right so here is the color of it right here up close it's for your amusement and you guys can see how it's that perfect light pink where it really just gives you that youthful look to your cheeks oh and one more thing about this blush it's not like a sticky cream blush like when you pat it onto your cheeks and into your skin it kind of goes to like a it's like a cream to powder, but it doesn't look powdery. You know what I mean? It just doesn't look sticky or wet on your cheek. Like some cream blushes can. So it's really good for, I think, a lot of different skin types. Even if you have oily skin, I think this would be really good because it doesn't budge. And like I said, it's not like a sticky blush. It's not like a very creamy. It's like creamy in the pot, but when you tap it into your skin, it kind of like dries down. So love these. All right, so moving on to some lip products. I have a couple really good ones to share with you. These new Clay de Po, the Radiant Liquid Rouges. I did a whole video on these so amazing on your lips I couldn't decide what I wanted to wear today because I have so many really good ones that I've been loving lately but these are amazing they are like a shiny gloss but they are like a lip stain at the same time so you put them on they last forever on your lips but they have a really moisturizing gloss to them so even though like the whole like shine doesn't last completely like as shiny as when it first goes on it doesn't last like that all day you are left with like the most beautiful color to your lips and they smooth out your lips. Like they take away like the little lines on your lips and they give you the most beautifully like smoothed out lips. This is the color number 11 and this is my favorite that I just can't stop wearing. There's number 11 and <laughs> you guys can see why I can't stop wearing it. That's such a me color. All right, then I used this in my last Get Ready With Me. It's the Maybelline Color Jolts. You guys, these are amazing. This lasted on my lips so well throughout the day. So when you go onto Alta's website, it says it's a like, well, it's called an intense lip paint, but it says on the website that it's glossy. But for me, I don't find them very glossy. Like this is glossy. This is not quite glossy. It's more like matte, but like not drying matte, but it's very creamy on the lips. And if you watch my Get Ready With Me with my first impressions, you guys would have seen this. And it's just, is beautiful like I need to try out more colors of these because they're really nice on the lips they last a while they are so comfortable on the lips and I love this color this is the shade strip down but these are awesome and then this is another one this is an oldie but a goodie I've been pulling it out so much it's the Tom Ford the lip color shines so this is the formula that has more shine to it it's more moisturizing but a little bit more sheer at the same time I love these they leave the most beautiful color on your lips and they're super moisturizing. They feel like a lip balm. So when your lips are really dry or if you're just out running errands, you just want to pop a little bit of color onto your lips. I pull out this all the time. This is in the shade Bear and it's the perfect 
every day, like just run an errand color. So here's the color in bear and you guys can see how it's just like the perfect like everyday color. Something to just grab and throw in your purse and use throughout the day. Love this. Okay, let's talk about what's on my lips right now because I have been wearing this lip combination so long now. I love it so much. First of all, what I have on is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills, the lip, what is this called? The, it's just the liquid lipstick. All right, no fancy name, just liquid lipstick in pure Hollywood. This is another oldie but goodie. I love this. I got this when it first came out and I love the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I always wear a gloss over my liquid lipsticks anyway because I always think like all of them are drying. But I love liquid lipsticks because they just last forever on your lips. And then even if you put a gloss on top like I do, it just seems to last forever. Like I never have to worry about touching up. So this is the Pure Hollywood shade. That's what I have on my lips right now. And then on top of it is this gloss that I just love. And it's the Tarte, the glossy lip paint in the shade Hella. Love, love, love this gloss. I wear this so much. So that's them together. And this is the lip combo I've just been wearing so much. That's the liquid lipstick in Pure Hollywood. Seriously, a favorite of mine. And then that's the Tarte lip gloss in Hella. And as you can see, it's the perfect combination. Okay, this is gonna come of no surprise to any of you, I'm sure, this month. The Revitalash Volumizing Primer, it's the mascara primer. I don't, did I talk about this last month or was it new this month? I can't even remember when I started using it, but ever since I started using it, it's just so mind-blowingly amazing. And then the Revitalash Volumizing Mascara, that's what I have on my lashes, that's what I've been wearing non-stop. And it's so funny, we started carrying these on Premiere Look, and it's all because the girls I work with, because they were all saying, they're like, you have to try the Revitalash Mascara, you have to try it, it's better than the Chanel La Volume de Chanel, which they knew was my absolute favorite. And I was like, come on guys, I'm like, there is no way it's better than the Chanel. They're like, yes, yes it is. And you need to try it because you're gonna wanna carry it. So I got some in, I tested it out. I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is the mascara of all mascaras. And I've been using it ever since. And then I started carrying it on Premiere Look and that is how the story went down because it is the best mascara, best primer, absolutely love it. It just gives the most like, black false eyelash look just like the Chanel mascara only this one's even better all right just a few more things here and then we'll finish up with some skincare this I did a whole video on guys and it blew my mind since the moment I put this on it's the Aven the anti rougeurs fort and it's made for broken capillaries and redness to your skin if you have rosacea it's really good for rosacea it's just a very lightweight cream that you put on to any area of like redness, broken capillaries, and it just blends and just sinks and melts into your skin and feels so good. And ever since I put it on that very first time, you guys remember how I went completely nuts because it took away redness. I could see my broken capillaries in certain areas of my face. I could see them like disappearing and just like not looking so obvious. And I was like, holy crap, like I have never seen anything like this. I have gotten lasers on my broken capillaries, nothing worked. I have tried other products, nothing worked. This is the first thing I've ever tried, even on top of lasers, that has worked. And the broken capillary issue on my skin just looks so much better. I would always get like broken capillaries a little bit on the top of my cheeks. I would get them around my nose and then I have some on the top of my nose. I've been putting this on day and night, in the morning and at night, just, you know, mix in with my other skincare products. And the more you use it, the more results you see, which is incredible. I am so hooked on this. Absolutely just like a miracle worker for anyone with like broken capillary issues or redness or rosacea. So unbelievable. So sticking with this anti rougeurs line, this is the Aven, the anti rougeurs the Dermal Cleansing Milk. So this cleanses, removes makeup, and soothes. So again, this is made for anyone who struggles with redness in their skin, if you have rosacea, any type of skin condition that needs very gentle yet like soothing type of cleansing. This feels so good on your skin. Like I just wanna like continue to cleanse my skin when I'm using this. It's so soothing and makes your skin so soft and it honestly really does help take away makeup. When I rub this over my eyes a lot, I will get off even more makeup. It just really helps to just like take everything off, soothes the skin, cleanses your skin so beautifully. I love it. This is just an amazing, amazing cleanser. I use this at night, every single night. So this is kind of like my go-to now at night before I do like Retin-A because before you use Retin-A, you wanna make sure your cleanser is very gentle and you wanna make sure your toner is very gentle. So this just fits in my routine perfectly at night. And I also use this in the morning too because like I said, I start washing my face and I'm just like, oh, I don't wanna stop. It feels so good. This is amazing. So last thing, again, that goes along with the event that I've been loving. I'm gonna shake this up because it kind of 
settles in here. It's the Gentle Toner, and this is again by Aven. I have just been absolutely loving it. This is for dry to a very dry, sensitive skin. And you know how Aven is known for their Aven Thermal Spring Water, which just like soothes the skin so much, but this has a really high amount of that Thermal Spring Water in it. It's just very gentle on your skin. Again, it soothes the skin. So good for rosacea, so good for anyone with any type of sensitivity to their skin. Absolutely been loving. All right, so the last thing I wanna mention is my jewelry. And you guys always comment on my jewelry and I always link it down below for you too. But I wanna give a special shout out to the girl who makes this. She's a friend of mine. She is just absolutely amazing. She has an Etsy store. I wear like her jewelry on my videos all the time. I think I own like almost everything she makes because it's so beautiful and it's just my style. I really like layering type of jewelry. I'm not a big like statement piece jewelry type of girl. I'm very like petite. So whenever I wear like a big statement piece, I just don't like it. I'm more into the like smaller jewelry and like the layering jewelry. I love to layer jewelry, necklaces, bracelets, which I forgot to even put bracelets on today. She has like amazing bracelets too and I have a ton of hers. But you guys have seen me wear so much of her jewelry like in my videos and you guys always compliment it. So I just had to like tell you guys exactly where to get it. And again, it's gonna be linked down below. Her name's Melissa, it's her Etsy site and it is Fabulous. I know you guys will absolutely love it. And hers is just like, hers is, her jewelry is literally a favorite of mine every month because I wear it all the time. My husband like loves it too. Like every time I wear one of her pieces, he's like, oh my God, he's like, that is so pretty. He's like, where did you get that? And I always tell her, tell him it's Melissa. He's like, damn, can she make me something? Like he's so funny. He loves it too. And actually she did. She made him a like beaded bracelet, which he loves. She's very talented. So you guys have to check out her Etsy store. Again, it's linked down below along with everything else that I mentioned here today. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out. Don't forget to leave your August favorites in the comments. I love to read what you guys have been loving for the month. Always gives me some good shopping ideas as well. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed these favorites. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.